The NHL free agency period isn't for another two days, but today we had a couple of trades. The first one, the one that isn't the most important one, but it's still necessary. The Edmonton Oilers traded Taylor Hall to the New Jersey Devils for Adam Larson. Now, I'm giving this trade victory to the Devils already, because the Devils, they've already invested in two great forwards this week, in Bo Minute, the former Penguin, who, he wasn't the best forward they had, but he was still a solid player. He did a couple of great things, but he didn't really do much this year, though. And Taylor Hall's another great forward. In fact, he was probably the best player on the Edmonton Oilers team this year. So I think the Devils got a huge investment just by this week. And Adam Larson, I don't. I think they got rid of Adam Larson because he wasn't that productive this season. He only had a handful of goals. So the Devils really won this trade. Let's also discuss that Steven Stamkos, the team captain for the Tampa Bay Lightning, re-signed for eight years, six to eight million dollars. This is what the Lightning needed. They needed their team captain, the face of the franchise, to have a contract extension. What it does is it gives Tampa Bay something to look forward to this season. Stamkos didn't play in, in any of the playoffs except for Game 7 of the Eastern Conference Final because of a blood clot surgery, for having a blood clot to remove that. But for the Lightning to move forward successfully, they need to have Stamkos, they need to have Victor Hedman, and they have to have Kucherov. If they can re-sign those two as well, I think the Tampa Bay Lightning are going to be a dangerous team next season. And also, the Lightning were interested in getting rid of Ben and trading Ben Bishop, but the Flames wanted to go another way. There's also room with the Flames also wanted to have interest in Marc-Andre Fleury, the Penguins goaltender, well, technically backup goaltender now because Matt Murray has earned his keep as the starting goalie for next season, in my opinion. To lead that team to the Stanley Cup, I think it really helped Matt Murray as a starter. It's kind of a signification that possibly they can, they will trade Marc-Andre Fleury for maybe something huge down the line as the Penguins probably need some defensemen because the defense we have right now, Ben Lovejoy, he's getting up there in age. Trevor Daly, he didn't do all. He didn't have a whole lot of production, but he really helped the Penguins' championship run. He didn't have the best production that we could have asked for, but he did enough. Chris Letang, he's kind of getting up there in age a little bit. Ole Mata, he's not the best defenseman we have, and Schultz, he's also a free agent, so maybe we won't be able to resign him either. So it's kind of important that we kind of go after a defenseman, or at least trade for one. Maybe if we trade Mark Andre Fleury to a team like the Flames, maybe grab it maybe one of their best defensemen, and he'll help the Penguins move forward as well. Let's get to the big trade that happened today. The Montreal Canadiens traded PK Subban to the Nashville Predators for defenseman Shea Weber. Now Shea Weber is only a decent defenseman. In fact, he's probably the, the Predators have three good defensemen already, and Shea Weber was kind of that decent. He's kind of the one that was, had the most spotlight on him. But he's only a decent defenseman, in my opinion. And maybe in many people's opinions as well. So I think the Canadians really won this trade. Actually, I think the Predators won this trade by taking the what was probably the Canadians' best player this past season. Because Carey Price was gone most of the season. So, the Predators really won this trade, in my opinion. The Canadians lost this trade. I don't see Schwaber doing much this season. I think the Canadians made a big mistake in trading P.K. Subban. They could have maybe gotten a little bit better. But the Predators are going to look like a strong team next season with P.K. Subban on the defenseman side. And you have James Neal as a solid winger. You have Pekka Ryan as a solid goaltender. I think the Predators could make a run for the Cup next year. Let's do it for your NHL news today, kind of like. Be sure to leave a comment on your thoughts of these trades. Like and subscribe to the channel. Also, have a good day, everybody. I'll see you in my next video.